Okay, let's uh, mount this uh, Clubman bar on your little Suzuki Cafe racer. You'll look a lot better going down the road in that kind of original cafe position. And it's really simple and fun, so let's get started. The first thing we'll have to do is reroute the uh, throttle cables. They're going to have to go under this uh, headlight bracket here. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and take these signals off too because we might as well do that and then we'll prepare for our, our uh, little smaller bullet lights. <clears throat> so go ahead and follow along. We're going to have to remove the headlight. That just takes a second and then we'll show you how to do this. To remove the headlight, you just uh, take off the two uh, screws. They're like little button head screws and there's one back here on the black section and one back here. So just remove those. And then we'll go ahead and uh, lift the bottom of the headlight out and you just rotate it uh, clockwise like that and it should come right out. And then go ahead and gently pry out the, pry off the wire here, the connector. And there you have it. And then just for future reference, if you ever have to change your bulb, uh, you can go ahead and get to the bulb inside this uh, rubber housing here. So just for reference. So go ahead and remove that. Next, we're going to unplug the uh, signal lights. So go ahead and unplug the uh, single wires, just the small, small uh, square connectors. You just lift up on the tab and then pull it out. And go ahead and do there. There's one black and one gray. So go ahead and disconnect those two, and then we'll take these signal lights off. To remove these signal lights, there's a rubber cap behind the bracket here. So go ahead and remove the rubber cap and then uh, take the nut off and then the, the uh, signal light will slide out of the hole. And then the, uh, the nut and the cap will slide off the end of the connector there. We want to keep these connectors because we're going to use these for our new lights. So go ahead and take both signal lights off. Now we want to remove this, uh, this bolt here. It has a washer underneath and then on the inside there's a, wa a big washer and a nut. So go ahead and uh, 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 disconnect those, pull the bolt out. And then we'll slide this uh, headlight arm out of the way. And then now what we want to do is we want to take the uh, throttle cables and we, we, we want to just loop them down through the, so they end up underneath the bracket here. So we'll be like that. And then make sure that the uh, brake hose is up on top like this. So brake hose here and then the uh, throttle cable under the bracket. And then we'll go ahead and put this back in. Remember it's the the bolt on the washer on the outside and then the big uh, nut and uh, big washer on the inside. Before we mount our bar we need to slide the uh, throttle housing over the end of the bar there so what I'm going to do I'm going to take the uh, brake hose and just swing it over this way out of the way like this and then I'm gonna okay the bar goes on the bike like this with this u-shape forward so what I want to do is I want to take the throttle uh, housing. The, screws are, the, the uh, screws are loose on the clamshell so you can slide that over the bar. And you may have to uh, kind of work this back and forth until you get that to go over the uh, clamshell. Okay then we can set that on the bike like that. That way this will be on there so when we put the bar on we can uh, that won't that, that's impossible to get on uh, after the bar is bolted on. I've temporarily uh, clamped the bar on the bike now. The most important thing on these clamps is to make sure there's an equal gap on each side, a gap here and a gap here. It's important to have the gaps because if you get the one touching and then you tighten the other side, it won't, it won't clamp. It just doesn't seem to want to clamp very well. So go ahead and snug those up. You don't need to get ridiculous because what you want to do now, you want to have this bar forward like this and up a little bit because later on we can drop it. But if, it's, if this were to swing over, this, uh, this might hit your tank. So that's really important that you... Uh, uh, you know, adjust this angle after we get everything installed because we don't want this to swing over and hit and dent the tank. So let's go ahead and just snug those up and then we'll uh, start hooking everything up. There's Sam back there. Isn't he cute? Okay, I've tightened the clamshell. Make sure you get the little peg that goes into the hole in the handlebar that we drilled for you. That way it won't rotate and it'll clamp nice and tight. So real important that you get the little peg on the uh, clamshell housing in the hole in the bar. And then uh, go ahead and, uh, and you know, like, don't get too carried away. You're just putting these screws into plastic here. So don't get too carried away with those screws on the bottom. And it's the same with these screws on the brake here. Don't get too carried away because these are going to aluminum here. So go ahead and snug this up. Now you want to leave your brake lever just a little bit loose right now because we're going to adjust this once we uh, angle our bar. And then here's the brake hose. 
should go just right down behind the headlight. Then our throttle cables are right here. So I can angle that for you. They just loop right under the uh, bracket there. So let's go do the other side. One other thing on the uh, on the throttle housing. Make sure that it snaps back and it's nice and free. And then also make sure that you have a little bit of the uh, handlebar showing right there. Because uh, when we put our um, uh, uh, bar end mirror on, we don't want the uh, bar end mirror to hit the grip and then it won't snap back. So make sure there's a little bit of the handlebar right there. Before we put our clamshell on, we need to slide the uh, clutch lever over the handlebar. So slide that over and then just snug that uh, little screw down there up a little bit. Just to, but we're going to still leave that loose because we're going to adjust that. And then we need to uh, leave room for the clamshell housing here. Now take the screws uh, out of the clamshell housing just like that. Now what we'll do is we'll just slide that over the bar. There again, make sure that the little peg goes in the hole. And then go ahead and just uh, mount that uh, on the bar and uh, snug the screws up again it's plastic so don't get too carried away and then the wire is on the behind the fork tube here so snug that up and then we'll uh, just about be ready to uh, finish this up i think i figured out a way to uh, make this clutch cable work so we don't have to replace it uh, it's actually too long the way it is right now to to bend over and go into the clutch uh, lever there so what we can do is we can uh, go ahead and modify this uh, area right in here so I'm going to go ahead and grab a light and then I'll show you what to do. It's really simple. Okay, there's a little housing that's uh, retained by this clip right here. What we want to do is we want to uh, release this housing so it slides down this way and allows the, the, the uh, clutch cable to slide down. So really, all you, it's simple. All you need to do is just pull it out of the bottom like that. And then just push down on the cable. And then you can go ahead and loop that back in there. Clip that in there like that. Now we can go ahead and slide this cable up and down in that housing and uh, we'll go ahead and adjust the clutch. Now we can go ahead and hook our clutch back up. So what you do is you just pull the lever over like this and put the little keeper in there, in the bottom. Now with this barrel adjuster all the way this way with the, in the slots toward the front, we do just reverse the process of how we got it out. So basically what you do is you just kind of push that on there, push the lever in, and then pull on the cable. You may have to do it a couple of times. And that'll go right in there. And there you go. Okay, now that I've got everything mounted on the bike, I've adjusted the bar down to where I like, uh, like the feel of it. And I want it to be kind of down as much as I can, but without getting too close to the tank here on both sides. Leave about a half an inch or more there. You don't want it to get too close. So go ahead and adjust the height of the bar and then make sure you leave a gap on both sides on these when you tighten them. Just go back and forth, tighten them evenly. Go back and forth until they, the bar is nice and snug. snug. Uh, make sure your knurls are about the equal amounts on both sides. That way your bar will be centered. And then go ahead and adjust your clutch and brake levers to the angle that you want them. They'll have to droop down quite a bit because you'll be kind of leaned over. And then um, go ahead and uh, adjust your clutch. Make sure there's a little bit of free play. Same with your throttle, make sure there's a little bit of free play. And gosh, that's about it. I think we're, once we get all that finished, oh, and then I wire tied the uh, wires up here. And oh, make sure you plug in your connectors too. There's a connector on the bottom of this one for the uh, clutch. It won't, the bike won't start without that plugged in. And then your brake uh, wires over here, make sure you plug it in. Otherwise you won't have, the brake won't come on. So anyway, uh, I think everything's about, about finished. All we gotta do is just put this grip on this side. Oh, one last thing I wanted to say about the uh, clutch uh, cable. Uh, now, remember you can move the clutch cable up and down from down below. You can slide it up and down. So basically what you want is the most straight angle you have of this uh, metal housing here coming out of the brake lever. And so make sure that comes out as straight as possible by adjusting the uh, slack up and down on the clutch cable. And then also make sure that this doesn't get too close to your header pipe here. You may want to tweak this uh, bracket out under here. Make sure it uh, keeps a pretty good distance away from your header pipe there. Now let's put our grip on the left side. Make sure that your uh, grip is really clean inside. Get rid of all the uh, old glue residue and everything. And then uh, this is the double back tape that we supply you. Uh, it's super strong stuff, so I, th I think it'll really work well. So let's go ahead and show you how to put it on. 
Make sure your hands are really clean when you do this, and make sure the bar here is clean too. So, okay, now grab the uh, bag with the uh, tape on it. We've doubled this end over, so you kind of have to be careful and kind of pry that off there first to get that started. And then hopefully you can go the other way and it'll peel off. Make sure as you peel the tape off the bag, the uh, adhesive isn't left behind on the bag. So go ahead and peel one piece off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to lay it on the bar. Just start it right there. And pull it down there. And double it around to the back side. It doesn't matter if it has a little wrinkle or something in it. Then we're going to go ahead and trim the bottom edge off. Okay, now that it's stuck to the bar, we're going to go ahead and carefully take your fingernail and just peel that corner up and get this red masking started. Make sure the uh, sticky tape is still on the handlebar. Go ahead and pull the masking off. Both sides. Now we're going to put one more piece around there. Okay, now we're going to do the two sides. You may want to leave this edge a little way, a ways away from the switch housing there. You can get your get it started easier. I'll trim that off. Now we'll just take some glass cleaner and we're going to spray the tape and the grip and then we're going to just slide the grip into place. So go ahead and spray the tape. Make sure you get real good coverage because you don't want any bare spots. You can go ahead and rub your fingers around on it a little bit too if you want. Then uh, go ahead and wet the inside of the grip. And we should be able just to slide it on there. Okay, I've slid it on. There's just a little bit of the handlebar here showing. And what we'll do is we'll wait till tomorrow or the next day and then we'll trim that off before we put our bar end mirror in there. And there you have it. Okay, there you have it. Uh, just double check everything. Make sure uh, everything is tight and uh, works. Make sure your brake light comes on. Make sure your uh, clutch, when you pull the clutch in, the motor will start. And there you have it. These club and bars make the cafe racer just look so cool.